Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an impromptu video that I really wasn't planning at all. Uh, when I came home today with my kids, I saw this little box in my mail and I have not ordered anything from Gucci so I'm not sure what this is and I wanted to just do a quick little unboxing of sorts, although I don't think this is a big item by any means. It's about the size of my hand. I noticed that Gucci in particular, out of all of the other luxury uh, brands, they do more mailings than any other. Uh, if you watched one of my earlier videos, I had a beautiful Gucci booklet, a hardcover, pretty nice sized booklet that was mailed to me all about the Marmont collection, and I thought it was a really nice sort of like coffee table book that could be put out for display or for someone who really enjoyed collecting random Gucci items and I didn't have a need for it so I asked if any of you guys would be interested and one of my subbies at the time said that she would love to have it so I mailed it out to her and now it's hers and I'm happy that she has it and she's enjoying it um, but just in a few months I've gotten this other Gucci mailing so I don't know what it is I did want to share with you because I like to share lots of things with you guys. It's more fun that way versus me uh, doing this by myself. But let's see here. Oh, okay. So it says Gucci Women's Collection Cruise 2020. Oh. Oh, look at that. It's, it's this tiny little booklet. It's all in color. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this is really adorable. It's very visual in terms of like all the eye candy in here. Yeah, they brought back the horse bit design. I used to own a couple of bags with the horse bit hardware and I sold them all way, way, way back in the days of selling on eBay. I know a lot of people still sell on eBay, but I'm not very active on eBay anymore. But I did sell a couple of old Gucci bags probably for a fraction of the cost that they would go for now, but this was I don't know, maybe 10, 15 years ago. And funny enough, Gucci is actually the first luxury brand that I got into when I was in college. So I have my very, very first luxury handbag with me. And you guys know if you've watched my other videos, I do like to purge. I don't like to keep a whole lot of stuff around. I'm trying to be more of a minimalist. And if I don't use something, I tend to get rid of it pretty quickly. I either donate it, gift it away, or I sell it. But this particular Gucci handbag that I have was a gift from my mom when I was a college student. And if you know anything about my upbringing, I did mention in a couple of videos in the past, that you know my parents lived or I mean they're still alive but they they are retired now they they worked really hard they lived a sort of a typical immigrant life here in America they came here about 40 years ago I was born here in the states but they worked really really hard and became entrepreneurs and had um, their own business and my point is, it's not like they had all this disposable income for them to buy me anything super nice. It was, you know, we lived in pretty much middle income status, if that, you know, to be generous, I would say that. I would even say maybe lower middle class um, when I was a child. But anyway, my mom at the time, we went to Woodbury Commons Outlet together. And that's just about an hour from New York City. And she said that, you know, now I'm a college student. I'm a grown up. I should really own a nice bag. And she's the one who actually purchased this bag for me. So I do still have it for obvious sentimental reasons, even though I have not used it in ages. I don't even know what it's called, but here it is. This is the very first Gucci bag and also very first luxury handbag I've ever owned. This is what got it all started. Here, it unhooks like this, sort of like a bowling ball, bowling ball, <laughs> bowling bag style, but the handles are quite long. I wore this thing to death. I probably wore this every single day for a couple of years because it was the only designer handbag that I owned. And as you can see, it is quite worn. The handles have some pretty noticeable wear. There's wear all along the leather here. But... The fabric material with all the GG logos here has held up remarkably well considering this is a 20 plus year old bag. 
And then of course I have it stuffed with tissue paper and um, air paper and stuff just so it doesn't lose too much of its shape. But yeah, I wore this guy so, so much. You would have been, if you knew me back then, you would have been so sick of it because it went with every outfit, every occasion. I just felt it was so special because my mom had gifted it to me. It was also my first designer handbag and you know, I was a student. I had no money. So this is what I was rocking and I was rocking it proudly and happily, like I said, for for a couple of years. And then I got into some other bags um, after Gucci. Then I got really into Prada. Funny enough, Gucci and Prada, I don't tend to go for these days. And I can explain why if you're interested. Um, but in a nutshell, I feel like Gucci tends to be more trendy and I am more often leaning towards classic items these days and also I do notice that Gucci recycles I'm sure a lot of the brands do that but they do recycle their designs and a lot of the designs that I had seen many years ago come back and they're just not to me they don't feel as fresh or new just because I've been through a few generations of Gucci so I tend not to be attracted to those I'm not knocking Gucci it was my first love when it comes to luxury uh, designers and then with Prada I was really into Prada for a few years and went gangbusters with Prada bags and wallets but I have found that Prada in general is a little bit on the heavier side for me I love the Safiano leather I feel like it's really durable um, but I do find that a lot of their designs are pretty heavy and if I do go for a Prada bag now, it'll probably be for more of their classic nylon styles. Um, but I'm not in a rush because there's nothing that's really catching my eye right now. I know that there is a Prada bag that is getting all kinds of hype. It's that sort of half moon shape bag with a really short strap. I'm not into the half moon shape just in general for me. I don't know why it just doesn't make me excited and the short strap is really not my thing because I love crossbody as you guys know and you certainly can't wear that short thing crossbody I don't like things that sit right under my armpit it's just not right for me my style my body but I know a lot of people are really into that bag right now and there are a ton of um there's just a ton on social media everywhere so let me know in the comments below if you're getting into that bag or if you've bought it and what you think of it I'm just curious if anything I would probably get like a nylon backpack or a small camera bag that I can wear crossbody from Prada but again not in a rush to add anything from Prada right this second so just interesting that Gucci and Prada were both my first loves and I have um, since moved away from them over the last few years I also took quite a bit of a hiatus in terms of purchasing anything really designer related for probably good, I don't know, five to seven years, maybe even close to 10 years, just because it was that time when um, I was getting pregnant and I had two little babies and I was busy and doing the mom thing and I really wasn't even in the mindset to care about designer handbags at that point. So I took a long, long break. So if you look at my collection, you'll see a really interesting gap from like the years, the early years where I purchased my items when I was in my uh, late teens, early 20s, and then starting from like about 25 to 30, 35 years old there's a big gap and then just recently in the last couple of years I've really started to get into them again which you know I'm having a lot of fun with I think the brands that are really drawing my attention are Chanel Celine uh, surprisingly Givenchy caught me with the Antigona I have the Antigona mini uh, for those of you who may have missed that video I will link it down below um, and Louis Vuitton I was never really a fan of Louis Vuitton back in the day but now I'm really enjoying Louis Vuitton and the Pochette Matisse that I purchased last summer has just been an amazing, amazing bag that I absolutely love. It's actually my one of my all-time favorites, so highly, highly recommend the Pochette Matisse. But anyway, this was a totally random video, very much unplanned, but when I saw this come in the mail, I was curious to see what it was and I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, if you are interested in this little booklet I do think it's super cute but like I said I don't like to keep things around um, my home because I'm just really not into having too many things and clutter and I'm really I've gotten into Marie Kondo for those of you who don't know Marie Kondo she's like this cute little petite Japanese woman who is like a miracle worker when it in terms of like purging closet purges organizing um, she basically 
introduce the trend or the philosophy around only purchasing items or only ke keeping items that spark true joy for you. And this is super cute, but it's not something I need to have in my life and it doesn't necessarily spark joy for me. So even though it's small, um, I do want to get rid of it. So if anyone of my subbies out there would like this, just let me know in the comments below and I will DM you on Instagram and get your contact information so I can mail it out to you so this way you'll be like my other subby who received the larger Gucci booklet <laughs> okay well this was a short one and um, a random one but I hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching I will follow up with proper video I know you guys have um, given me some feedback that you did enjoy the last video I did with the Louis Vuitton uh, background, more around money management, investing in LVMH stocks, and just incorporating some of the financial principles. So I will follow up with a video along those lines very shortly, and I do have some other ideas for new videos. So I hope you stay tuned, and if you enjoyed this one, please give it a thumbs up, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.